in order to do this drawing, you will need a piece of tissue, a blending stump, a kneaded eraser, a regular eraser, uh, possibly a pencil, and some graphite powder. And you will need a piece of paper that you're going to tear. Um, you're going to tear it into the shape of your mountains. Uh, this drawing works much better if you have peaks on your mountains. So plateaus, that's a different skill. We're not going to show that here today. So make sure you have little points, little peaks. Peaks are good, plateaus are bad. Uh, you will also need some graphite powder. You can buy it at any art store. I recommend Desert Art Supply. They have everything you need and all of the answers. So, all right, so at this point, you're going to take your graphite powder uh, and you're going to spread it around very even flat strokes across the sky. Um, you can make the top of the sky a little bit darker. You can make the bottom a little bit lighter. Your atmosphere can change uh, depending on what type of sky that you would like. You can make All right, here we go. We're going to make some uh, mountains now. We have to identify a light source. Our light source is coming from the right, and the peak of the mountain comes right down the middle. Uh, so we're going to figure out where the crest of our mountain is, and we're going to pull graphite powder down the left side of the mountain. Uh, it's a good idea to go at about a 45 degree angle, uh, and it'll give you a, a nice little cliff on one side of the mountain. So we do that same thing on the other peaks. So make sure that you, you put your paper down from the peak of the mountain. Uh, not on the side of the mountain, but right there on the peak and pull it down. You have this nice little uh, rocky uh, rocky edge on those mountains. And then everywhere where you have a peak, you put a dark side. Um, so we have uh, one more peak to do here. And you can put that, uh, that line to the right, to the left. It really doesn't matter as long as you start at the peak. And you will have... Uh, just magically uh, some mountains will begin to appear. So we have to put a little bit of texture on the light side and sometimes it's nice to separate uh, a couple of the mountains. So if we put another edge on uh, on the dark side of that mountain we can separate the, the mountains in the foreground from the mountains in the background. And you can have a lot of fun with this. Just keep it going. So at this point I'm going to even put another layer of mountains in the front so it'll create some space. I get a little, little mountain range in the background there, a little mountain range up in the front, and we're just going to uh, darken the top of that second mountain range and get the, the light areas uh, that are covered by our stencil to really show up there. You see them right there. All right, now we're going to pull the dark side down on the left. Uh, just like we did on our mountains in the, in the foreground. All right, now we're going to put a, a lake right here at the bottom of our mountain. Uh, we have to define where our shoreline is going to be. It always looks a little bit better if it comes right from the bottom of that line right down the middle of our mountain. Uh, it's probably the best way I can describe it. Um, just follow the dark and light side of the line right down the middle. Every time you find the where that bottom line or that line bottoms out at the bottom of the mountain uh, that's where you're going to make the uh, the shoreline either go up to the right or up to the left and you just keep on building that shoreline you can use your imagination where that thing is supposed to go um, and you just brush that right across uh, nice even horizontal strokes back and forth and you can keep working that and even go back in and erase some white reflections to really get that water to shine. All right, at this point, we're going to create one more mountain range. And we will do that by putting a little bit of graphite uh, in the background behind that mountain range uh, to separate the mountain in the back from the mountain in the front. And then you can create a little bit more shoreline on the bottom of that mountain. And yeah, I created a new shoreline. Uh, I'm just getting more and more detail into the landscape. And here's where we take an eraser and we can erase some of the white reflections on the waves into the water. 
uh, and there is a variety of techniques to to get this this uh, to look more like a reflective surface but the key is don't have rounded strokes you want to have uh, horizontal strokes it'll make the surface of that water look nice and flat so we just uh, put a desired amount of reflections on that water and get pictures of water uh, get as many pictures as you can of landscapes and water and really study those those images all right now we're going to create even another foreground in our landscape we're going to put this one really close up right up in our face and uh, we're just going to pull some texture down there uh, i'm going to show you a couple of other tricks to get a little more texture okay. all right so we have a little bit of value down for our uh, our little mountain in the foreground and these are not the little happy trees that bob ross told you all about these are just some dead gnarly trees to create a strong foreground we're doing this with uh, the side of a graphite stick and you start out low at the base with a thick, uh, a thick line and then twist it to a real thin line to get the thin ends of all those branches like that. And you just uh, again would want to study some pictures of trees but one of the one of the more important parts is to just let those those branches get thinner and thinner and then they branch out to more and more smaller branches as they come up a little bit higher and this takes practice just like everything else keep trying it and you will get it down um, there's no doubt about it everything just requires a little bit of practice a little bit of studying some images and you will have a landscape down in no time at all so uh, now we're going to put in a little bit more value for a foreground and I think we're just going to make another another little area for uh, some trees and bushes right here in the foreground. All right, so we're going to add some value to our little mountain in the foreground. We're just going to cover right over uh, what we already did. Uh, just looked a little bit empty. We're going to create a little bit of texture on this front mountain. I'll show you a real quick, easy way to get some texture. Uh, just using a, uh, a, a makeup brush. Um, and I'm just going to dab right in that graphite powder and test it on a piece of scratch paper first to see that you're getting the texture that you want but uh, this is going to allow you to put some some texture down on your mountains very fast so just dab it right on that on that uh, mountain's edge and you'll get some texture uh, just like you want that'll also allow you to brush in some uh, some blades of grass it's just like you're painting with a pencil uh, you're taking the graphite from inside the pencil you can throw down some grass throw down some texture speeds up the process of drawing quite a bit I think you'll like it I think you'll have some fun so we're about to wrap up this little session here um, we'll probably put another tree in here just to dress it up a little bit and I, cr I would encourage you to Experiment with uh, these tools, these uh, supplies. Uh, this is a crash course in using these materials, and yeah, I think if you if you pick them up, play with them, you're going to find that you're going to create your own style. You'll find some new things that you can do. You'll have some discoveries, and just grab the materials, sit down, find a spot at a table, and start playing. And you will have a great time. I could do this all day. Um, they're fun to whip out some quick landscapes or you know sometimes it's fun to just sit around for hours and jump in and get some more details and um, get the pictures to stand out even more so there's a close-up of how everything looks alright so that's the final product of our graphite landscape hope you enjoyed it and picked up a few tips uh, alright well uh, come on down sign up for some art classes at the Monkey Gym Art Studio.